Yes, yes. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, yes. Today's video is about, you know what I'm talking about? How do you advertise? How do you market? What forms of marketing do you do? You know, are you using different forms of marketing than just social media platforming and spamming the uh, social media platforms, which is all good, you know, because I do it too. We all do it. But today's topic is yard signs. Today, you know, we're talking about all the yard signs that we have. All these yard signs are just sitting here. And why is that? Because I've been lazy. I haven't been putting my yard signs out as I'm supposed to. And, you know, putting our yard signs out is so beneficial, so beneficial. So today we're getting a rag out. We're dusting off the yard signs. It's springtime. The weather is here. Now's the time to put the yard signs up and, you know, get them ready. And today we're going to show you what tools we use. Uh, do we use wood spikes? Do we use the old metal? The old metal uh, 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 landscaping spikes, or do you climb a ladder? Do you post it way up there? How do you put your yard signs on? What tools do you use to get your yard signs out? And you know, how do you do it? And you know, what's a good size? What should we put on our yard signs? And you know, to to get a good attention. And you know, what should we do? Here at No Limit Hauling and Junk Removal. We believe in a nice, nice, real big sign. We like a nice, big sign. So, you know, we have the real large, large junk removal signs. You see that? You see how you see how that stands out right there? That junk removal, that junk removal sign right there, free estimates with my phone number on it. Just like that, you know what I mean? Those are the type of signs we use so we track attention. When I first started putting these signs out, I used to get so much business. I used to ask people, how'd you hear about us? And they said, we seen your sign. And boom, you know what I mean? So today we're doing a video on signs and getting them ready, what tools we're gonna use, and you know, what's best for you. And you know, before you start to get your signs out, you know, make sure you like and subscribe. But before that, before you even buy signs, make sure you know your code enforcement laws. Can you post signs in your uh, uh, city? W where can you post them? Can you put them on public uh, um, city property? Can you put them on a light pole? Can you put them on a on a fence? W where 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 could you put your poles at? I mean, where could you put your yard signs at? And where should you put your yard signs at? And what what works best for yard signs? Today we're tackling all that today in this video helping you guys out because a lot of you guys ask questions you know what i mean do you use yard signs where'd you get your yard signs so today we're going to answer those questions and help you out but right now we're dusting oh we're dusting the yard signs off getting them ready and you know they're going to go in action tonight and we're going to post a video and just like that we're going to show you guys what time was it let me get some other things together and uh, we're going to show you what tools we use what things we use and you know how easy it is we'll get back at you yes yes this is your boy mr Yi Yi from that 707 yes yes okay okay so we're back and you know so now that we have our signs cleaned up, we have our signs cleaned up and ready. These are your three feet. These bad boys right here are your three feet uh, uh, sign spikes right there. Those are three feet. And these right here are two feet sign spikes. So, you know, it just depends on the height you like from, from that height to this height. Because right now, you know, you see that height compared to that height right there? Because right now, it's springtime, so the grass is tall. So you might stick some signs where the grass is very, 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 very tall in your area, which you kind of don't want because it's only a matter of time before Public Works comes and maintenance that. And your sign, they're going to throw away like, I don't care. You know what I mean? So try to find places where... You are, it's already been manicured. It's already been taken care of. And you know, you know, certain types of days, you know, when public works comes. So, you know, try to take care of those areas. Try to target those areas where public works has, has already been and, do, and, done, and done their maintenance. 
Don't try to stick them where you know you got high grass areas. Because trust me, been there, done that. Some of these, some of these signs right here, some of these signs I had to rescue and go get because I said, whoa, wrong area. So, you know, you're going to learn from those type of things and you're going to learn where to put them at. But try to go where it's nice and manicured. There's a good place for you to put it in the bushes so everybody can see it. Especially if you can find those areas where people are walking. Nice walk areas where people do walks around their neighborhoods where they can see it. They can take a picture and photograph it to somebody and send it to somebody. They know who has hella junk or a family member. Try to target those areas. And, you know these are the spike signs you know when you go out and start putting signs up you're probably going to want to carry a box of spikes if you want you're going to want to carry some more some more signs you know no problem we got signs glory no problem you know what i mean and that's just it you're going to want to have these things and you know now we're going to talk about how to stick your signs in a different way so here right here are some special are some you know you're going to need a staple gun if you're going to be stapling these things to like uh, telephone poles or you know if you're gonna spike these in the floor these, these are nice spikes you can get every time I go to somebody's house and I see that they have these spikes I keep them and you know that's just it I keep these spikes and um, you know that's just what I do yes so you're gonna want to try to keep these spikes right here these every time I go to a client's house and I see these spikes I keep them my wife hates them but I don't care but you know these spikes right here I keep these spikes because you never know if you're going to have to spike, you know, sometimes, sometimes these spikes, sometimes the spikes, the sign spikes that come with it, sometimes these bad boys, you might find a hard ground that, you know, yes, it's a little saturated right now with the, with, with the rainy weather we've been having, but then you're going to come some, you're going to come around some spots that are straight desert that those, that those spikes are not going to stick to. So maybe those are not the places where you should be putting your signs. If it's that much desert and it's that dry and it's that hard, probably not a good place to stick your signs. You're probably going to want to put your signs where it's nice and moist and it's been taken care of. And there's a nice, uh, you know, maintenance where it stands out. And, you know, what we want, you know what I mean? We want to hit it on a Friday and have that weekend. We want to have that weekend crowd, that weekend, you know, rush to uh, put our situations but you know like i said if that doesn't work with the spikes you can always use these wood spikes get you a nice a mallet get you a nice mallet so you don't uh, uh, uh make a bunch of noise when you're in a client's when you're inside of a, a community because you know it's like a band a bandit we want to be in and out in and out like no one even seen us do it so you know get these spikes i recommend you get a nice staple gun because you can staple these you can staple these things straight to the thing. No problem. You see that? You see that staple right in there? You see that staple right in there? You see that? Your sign goes to that. Your sign gets stapled to that. And then you could stick that. Or you could stick this on a on a telephone pole or a wall. And then you could spike your uh sign to it. Just depends how much room you got. I recommend you use. I recommend you used. I recommend you use. 916 staples 14 millimeter staples you know average average every time you buy a staple gun it might come with the uh 516 staples you know eight millimeter this ain't gonna kick it right see how thin that is look how thin that is that ain't gonna do it you need something at least this thick at least this thick the minimum to get to the sign into the wood spike and you know i suggest you carry you know zip ties because you might see a fence you might see a nice parking lot where there's a lot of other signs already and that you know you can attach your signs to those with uh you know with your um you know situations like this you know what i mean i forgot what what, what those are just zip ties hello so you know i carry i like to carry a combo pack that i bought from harbor freight this is a combo pack that gives me so many different sizes but you know what Sometimes you ain't even gonna have to buy those because I go to clients' houses and look how many I got from a client's house. So, you know, I recommend you carry that and a razor blade with you so you can put all four holes in the sign and you can zip tie them real quick. You might see a nice pole where a lot of people are walking, a lot of action. Zip tie it. So you want to carry, you know what I mean, nice size zip ties, a bunch of different sizes. I like black. 
or white. white. White is good for me. But you might see a nice big pole. You might see a nice big pole that you need a bigger zip tie. Sometimes you got to have those bigger zip ties. Those bigger zip ties. No problem. That's a big boy zip tie in case I see something that needs to be zip tied around a pole. But, you know, in my area, we don't have too many telephone poles. Thank you, Jesus. Everything's underground, fiber optic. But anyways, you know, these are the tools that Mr. Yee Yee uses, and they can help you get you a nice heavy-duty. I recommend that you get a nice heavy-duty, you know what I mean? Get you a nice heavy-duty staple gun. Like I said, 9 sixteenths, 9 that thick. 9 sixteenths, 14 millimeter staples. Zip ties, get you a bunch of zip ties. Get you a bunch of different zip ties. You know, and get out there and start, you know, start posting those up. Start posting those up. Right now is the season, and that's, you know what I mean? I've been lacking on it too, so that's why I did this video to show you guys. You know, we're gonna go put some out tonight. And you know, for that weekend rush, those people, especially if you can Google in your neighborhood groups, if you can Google in your neighborhood groups and you see where there's local garage sales at, go stick a sign where that garage sales at. Get the address and stick a sign by the corner of it. So, you know, everybody's going to that garage sale is going to see the junk removal sign, too. And, and, and actually, the people doing the garage sale might see the sign, too, and say, hey, I can use that guy, too. Or a lot of times, you know, what, what works for us and what's good also is if you go in your neighborhood garage sales and you see where they have garage sales, go stop by them and say, hey, I'm a junk removal guy. Here's my card. Here's my flyer. Here's my postcard. Here's door hanger. Here, give them all your info and let them know whatever you guys don't want here, we can kindly take for absolutely reasonable price. We'll work with you and we'll try to donate everything that we can, but we'll also work with you to get rid of all these items that you probably can't sell and you don't want and you, and you can't sell after you had like about five or six garage sales. Contact them too, I'm telling you guys, put your pride to the side, handle your business right now. Free advertising, free marketing, free all that. The, the main, the word, the word of the day today is free. So you know, those signs weren't free, but if you go post 20 signs, if you go post 20 signs right there, if you go post 20, 20 of those bad boys today and you get one call, that's a full trailer load, was it worth it? So, you know, you'd be surprised how posting 20 signs, how fast 20 signs can go. You could do 20 signs in an area. I'm not saying, you know, go hit a big, big, big Go, go hit your whole neighborhood. I mean, go hit your whole county with signs because you know how much gas that is and how much time that is. And, you know, one sign in one area, it's not going to work. What I recommend, you know what I mean, is handling your business. If you want more info on how, how we put our signs out and how we strategize it, leave us a comment. Get in contact with us and we'll let you know because, you know, we can show you, but we can't give you the full, full, full recipe. That's just it. But, you know, you're going to learn. And that's how it is. These are the tools again. Staple gun. Staples. Zip ties. Wood spikes for those hard for those hard areas. Get you a nice mallet. And, you know, get those yard signs out. Just like that. And, you know, you see how I got my yard signs already ready? I got the big spikes. Then I got the little spikes. See how I got those already ready? So when I go out tonight and put my yard signs, boop, next, boop, next, boop, next, boop, next. And just like that, you know, it goes so quick. It goes so fast. And, you know, you'd be surprised how those signs, you know what I mean, track a lot of attention. A lot of attention. And I recommend once you put your signs out, go back, you know what I mean, a couple days later. Go back Tuesday or Wednesday and see, you know, if your signs are on the floor or if they're down the street uh, uh, dangling on the floor or somebody threw them in the bushes. Go rescue your sign. Because these guys need rescue too. Because I've rescued so many of these signs and use them over and over and over. Because people throw them in the bushes, haters, public works throws them away. Somebody took it off and throw it over there in the bushes because they don't want it in their community. And there's a bunch of Karens out there who, who hate on you. But, you know, go rescue your signs. I recommend, you know, you do them Friday night. Go back out Tuesday night or Monday night and go see if the signs are still up. And if they're still up, 
perfect. But if they're not and they're on the floor, go rescue that sign. And, you know, bring it home. You know, I use a cloth, wash them off, wipe them down, and get them ready for the next week. I'm trying to tell you, these right here are the best advertising. I'm trying to tell you guys. You can you can pay for ads. You can do Google, this, that, dumb tag, blah, 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 Angie's List, blah, 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 whatever you use. These are the best advertising that you should be locking down and mastering because they're the cheapest, they're the quickest, and they can cover way much ground than a lot of people. I've got jobs off these signs because a lot of elderly people don't do Facebook. They took a picture of my sign. I, I got a job one day. For, I got a job one day from a client with this. This senior citizen seen my sign and remembered the number and called. Just like that. They remembered the number and called. And that's how I got the job. Just like that. Because they remembered that number. They didn't even take a picture. They remembered the number and called. And just like that, that one job paid for my whole box of signs. So, you know, you think about it, you know, this box might cost you, you know what I mean? This, bike, this box might cost you 300 bucks. You don't have to buy a big, you don't have to buy the, the, the those are the biggest signs right there. Those are, I think, the, the 24 by 18 or something like that. Those are the biggest ones because I want that attention. You don't have to buy that biggest size. I've seen signs smaller than that. But me, I like to put my color in there. I like to put junk removal, uh, 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 free estimates, and a big phone number in white. Because everybody could see that. It's in plain white. And I'm trying to tell you, it only takes one job to pay for all those signs. So, you know. And, you know, when you put some signs out and then someone calls you and says, Hey, I seen your sign. Perfect. Where'd you see it at? I seen it over here. Oh, perfect. I'm going to give you 10% off just for seeing that sign and calling in because you've seen that sign. That's you, you just don't know what you just did. You just saved yourself money by calling and using that sign. They're going to love that right there. You know what I mean? Those are just a little bit of tactics, a little bit of game from Mr. Yee Yee. Make sure you ask them where they seen the sign at, and now you know where a good market is at, where they seen it, other people are seeing it. So, you know, with that said, make sure you like and subscribe and support the movement. We're here for you guys. Let us know what you think about this video. Let us know about your yard signs. Let us know how much your, your, your yard signs are making you. They've made you. And let us know how it went for you. And how many yard signs did you put out this week? Or are you doing yard signs? Or are you even getting yard signs made? So, you know, reach out to us. There's so many websites out there where these you can get these yard signs. I can't even list them all. But, you know, I got, the, I got, I, I got mine at Dirt Cheap. Dirt Cheap Yard Signs. I think it's dirt cheap yard signs, dirt cheap signs or dirt, dirt cheap yard signs.com. So, you know, I think I got the website on here somewhere. Let me see. Um, uh, hang on, hang on. Yeah, dirt cheap signs.com. I got, I got my signs, dirt cheap signs.com. You go onto their website. I did it with my phone, not my computer, with my phone. And I designed my whole sign what I wanted they help you out you can call them and they'll and they'll help you out too instead of doing it like this you can call them and they'll help you out just like that dirtcheapsigns.com that's where I got my signs at that's where no limit hauling and junk removal got their signs you can do the same thing but you know yes yes we hope this video helps you guys out get those signs out get that money and you know make sure it's free free advertising because like I said one job will take care of those signs so and you didn't have to and you didn't have to you know rely on no social media, you didn't have to rely on no no leads, none of this stuff. These signs right here got you that job. So just like that, a little bit of knowledge is Friday. I hope everybody has a good weekend out there. I hope everybody gets money out there. I hope everybody keeps on getting it. And you know, usually I'm in my uniform, but I'm letting you guys see a little personal of me today. But you know, this is your boy, Mr. Uh, Yee Yee, out of that seven. Oh, seven. You know what I'm talking about? Yee, yee.